the Chancha, Chancha family. family. I am James. I am Jessica, and this is Catherine. 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 Catherine, can you tell me what number this is? Uh, one. One. Good. Right. What about what letter this is? Uh, I. Say it louder. I. I is not just a letter, but a word. When we write it out, it's always a capital. Big and important, and it contains the number one. When you wake up in the morning, do you think, I am sleepy? I am hungry? As humans, sometimes we automatically think first about ourselves. And that is why I is big. But the Bible tells us we are supposed to be servants, to help others, to think about others first. God knows it's hard for us, and that's why he sent Jesus, to be an example of how we should be. Now, Jesus told us a story about a man who was traveling down a road. And he was caught up by some mean robbers. Some, somebody who beat him up, robbed him, and just left him on the side of the road. The poor man was just lying there, and he heard somebody approach. First person to see him was a priest, someone who worked for the church. You think of him kind of like Pastor Micah. Now, he didn't stop. He just kept right on going. So another guy walked by. This was a Levite, someone else who was important to the church. And guess what? He didn't stop either. Then a third man came along, and by this time, the poor man was probably ready to give up. But the man who came by was a Samaritan. Now, in Jesus' time, Samaritans were not well liked. They were people who were considered kind of bad guys who didn't follow rules. Now, this Samaritan was walking along, and the man beside the road must have thought he was done for. But the Samaritan man actually stopped. And not only did he stop, he actually helped the man. He put bandages on his wounds, put the man on his donkey, and then took him over to an inn. And there he gave the innkeeper money and told him to take care of whatever the man needed. You have probably heard this story before, either in Kid Zone or maybe Mommy and Daddy or Grandma and Grandpa have talked about it. Did you know we have many around us who are like the Samaritan, helping others in hard situations? Think about who maybe in your life Maybe mom or dad, teachers or a friend were, are like this. For, the, for us, the people of Prince of Peace have been that for us over the past couple of months. Sending us cards, food, praying for us when our family has been going through a hard time. God sent us Jesus to be our example. And he, the example he wants is to us to be better people. To think of others and not just ourselves. And when we do this, we don't just show our love for others, but also God's love. Okay, it's time to pray. Let's bow our heads. Let's bow our heads. Ready? Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the words of the Bible. Thank you for the words of the Bible. Thank you for those around us. Thank you for those around us. Please help us to love you. Please help us to love you. And help us share. And help us share. Your love with everyone around us. Your love with everyone around us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. And thank you for Jesus. And thank you for Jesus. In his name. In his name. Amen. Amen. Bye, Bye, Prince of Peace. Peace.